Hello again, and welcome to part 3. Uh, in this part, I'll be telling you uh, what happens when a player joins your Gary, your Gary's Mod game mode. We'll be focusing on three main functions, or hooks as they're called. So open the game mode folder in your game mode folder root. And uh, we're going to be working on server side. Only one of the functions will be working on both sides. So let's open server side init.lua. Okay. Uh, the first function that will be called when a player joins is function gm. GM stands for game mode. Player connect with the, one of the arguments being the nickname and the other one being the IP address let's just call it IP you can call your arguments whatever you want but they need to be in the correct order so IP could not be before the name it has to be in this order but the name is up to you so I could call this fucktard but I'm not gonna do that I'm gonna call it IP uh, this is very useful for your, for example, custom bans. For example, in a fancy RP mode, where when you're jailed, you will actually be banned, but when you're out of jail, your jail time, you will be unbanned. Uh, this is also useful for just telling people in chat that a new player has joined your game. So, stuff like that. Uh, this is a shared function. This will actually work in CL init and shared.lua. So, yeah. Uh, there is an equivalent way of writing these functions, and that is to use local functions, uh, hooks. Uh, I like to use local functions because they will, won't be accessible from other files in your game mode. They will only be accessible from this file. Local function, let's just call it player connected, for example. Name IP. Now, how does our game mode know to call this function? Well, it doesn't know yet. We have to do a hook.add function here with the same name as the function up here player connect. This is the name of the hooks game mode and the hook name. The equivalent way of doing it would be hook.add and the hook name in there, then a custom name for this specific hook, which would be a player connected a derp. And then uh, the custom function that we made, which is local. It doesn't have to be local, but I don't see the point of not having it local, because it's only this hook this hook that's going to call it. So just to be t tidy and fancy, just make it make uh, all the functions that are called by these hook functions local. So this will do the exact same thing as this. If we write, for example, print name and IP, it will do it at the exact si same time as this function will do it. So these are equivalent. But uh, we're gonna do it this way. It looks more fancy. And we can overwrite. Um, then we have another function which is called when a player uh, joins the game. And that is player initial spawn. We are gonna use these hooks in our custom game mode that we're gonna make. And then uh, one of the arguments, actually the only argument, is the player entity. That is the player that is joining, the, the the model and everything that the player is in the game mode. This is called, you know when you're joining a server and it says sending client info. This is called exactly at the same time as you get that up on your loading screen. Uh, it's not called when you respawn, only the first spawn. And, well, it's called when you change a map. That's the same as joining the server again. Uh, and yeah, that's about it. It's 
we're gonna use that one. Then we have the last one. Uh, right, a little lag there. Uh, the next function is GM player authenticated or auth for short with the player entity first. You can call this whatever you you want again, PL for example or idiot, but it will be the player entity. And we have the Steam ID and the unique ID. You will get the Steam ID, which is the ID that the Steam her servers have for your specific Steam account. The unique ID will won't have as many signs as the Steam ID, but is mainly used for LAN games. You will get a specific uh, number, even though you're not connected to the Steam servers, as far as I know. I, I'm not entirely sure on the unique ID. It's a bit. Uh, haven't been too much into it, but uh, the Steam ID is what you're gonna use. It's it's the the ID of the gods. Actually, I want to start a server and show you what happens when I join the example game mode myself. So let's make the server print name player, and this is how you use the print function. By the way, if you haven't been into it in my other uh, tutorials. It's player and then these two dots. Then a uh, valuable, a variable I mean, and then the string again has joined the game. We do not want to to publish a player's IP in the chat. I don't see the point at all. So player name has joined the game. You can actually have a comma there sure if it's needed but okay uh, print and let's just let's just copy paste this player now we need, need to do it like this because now we don't have the name in the arguments so we need to get the name from the player entity which is uh, oh what was it again uh, Nick yeah so apply Nick will return it will give back the nickname of the player entity has spawned and then uh, player has gotten often okay uh, I'm gonna stop there and sh start the server okay so here I am inside Gary's mod and we have the server running so let's find the game and join it and we see the first message is our creation <coughs> player nickname has joined the game and the client uh, this is the default message which is put on the chat anyway and we had uh, the second one has spawned as the initial spawn hook and then has got authenticated so that's first the uh, the player connect then the player initial spawn, and then the player oft authenticated. So that's that's that. Uh, I'll see you in the next part, and uh, we'll see what I'm gonna go through there. But yeah, yeah, we'll we'll see you then. Goodbye. <laughs>